Honestly, drunk Korean girls are invincible. On Monday, a drunk girl in her 20s was hit by a metro train after jumping onto the tracks at the Hannam station. She apparently climbed over a fence and ran towards the platform at around 11.50pm in what officials assumed was an attempt to catch a train, but unfortunately this resulted in her being hit by an arriving train and fracturing her leg. In fake 4-day workweek news, POSCO started implementing a bi-weekly 4-day workweek that allows employees to have the entire second Friday off, which started Monday this week. They announced that they've reached an agreement with the labour unions to introduce a new system only for the residential office workers. Because who cares about the factory workers, right? POSCO was bragging about how unlike other companies that the company initiated this idea to the labour union and that they constantly strive to make a better environment for the younger generation. But the interesting thing is this 4 day workweek thing is actually not that good. So even though bi-weekly 4 day workweek sounds like you're getting a free Friday off, in reality because the workers still have to work 80 hours over 2 weeks, this is technically not the case. Workers will have to work additionally an hour or two every day to make up for the 8 hours of work that they will be missing out on the second Friday. Honestly, to me, this just sounds like a stupid PR move.